My name is Wilke Harms Janssen. Together with my father, I manage a dairy farm with pasture management in Friesland. On our family farm, we milk 200 cows, as well as female progeny. We've been using Kuvision and the BAP mating program from VIT for three years now. We can see a clear improvement in our heifers regarding conformation and milk yield. The overall picture is just better and more uniform. In the past decade, Germany has continuously confirmed its position as having one of the most modern breeding value estimations for the Holstein breed worldwide. The basis for this success is the passion of dairy farmers to adapt their farms and herds to the needs during constantly changing conditions and the will to breed using up-to-date tools. At the same time, the improvement of herds benefits from the quality of the German breeding value estimation, the central breeding value RZG and instruments like herd genotyping. Complete data collection, controlled data processing and highly reliable breeding values guarantee ground-breaking breeding progress whenever German genetics are used. We're on our dairy cattle farm with 800 cows in Cleaver today located directly on the Dutch border where the Rhine River flows towards Holland. We have 800 dairy cows on our agricultural farm and produce the feed on the farmland ourselves. We have 65 hectares of grassland and the remaining feed is produced in the field. We started herd genotyping in 2015. The herd became a lot more uniform, more long-lasting and healthier because of herd genotyping. Approximately 1.8 million cows are registered in German herd books for Holsteins and Red Holsteins. This makes them the largest registered herd book population worldwide. In Germany, as calves are born, they are registered in the central database HIT by the 11th day at the latest. This generates a unique registered ear tag. The animal will have this ear tag its entire life and is used to assign information to be collected to exactly this particular animal. The first information is information from the calves genotyping. A tissue sample is taken from the animal for genotyping. This sample is sequenced and VIT calculates genomic breeding values weekly from it. A pedigree verification of the animals is automatically carried out at this point. Those breeding values are immediately available in the internet portal Netrind Genome. Farmers can easily access their Natrind Genome account from anywhere at any time using an internet browser and without additional software. With Natrind Genome, the farmer is offered a unique management portal for complete genetics of the herd. The Natrind Genome portal also communicates with the mating software BAP. The genotyping of the herd brings valuable data for genetic predisposition of all relevant traits and genetic traits of the animals. Besides production, conformation and functional traits, the focus is on the health breeding values especially. Germany is currently the only country that offers genetic breeding values for all four health complexes and mortillaro resistance. This overview of figures of particular animals, as well as the comparison with other farms and monitoring of the breeding progress, are a powerful tool for specific selection of breeding animals, perfect mating and optimal breeding progress. This unique project for the genotyping of herds in Germany, Austria and Luxembourg is called Kuvision. The farmer has access to a complete package for genetic management of his, her herd by using Natrind Genome and BAP together. The farmer is now able to find optimal matings including amongst any young cattle he, she can decide at a younger age which of them to raise for herd replacement. More and more international farms use the advantages of herd genotyping in the German system and are part of Kuvision. Due to genomic data, I can see very quickly which production potential the animal really has for me. And therefore, it's easier for me to plan whether I want to keep working with this animal in future, 
or crossbreed this animal with a beef breed in order to have benefit from this animal, but not necessarily want to use this animal for breeding anymore. Circa 4 million dairy cows are housed in Germany. Approximately 2.4 million of them are Holsteins and Red Holsteins. Almost 90% of the Holstein cows in Germany are under milk recording. State-controlled milk recording in Germany offers important data regarding milk yield components and animal health. This information provides valuable advice for feeding and cow health. The results of milk recording are imported in many farm management softwares and combined with data from there. This comprehensive and detailed data collection is the solid base for the RZG. We use milk recording every four weeks to individually set up the herd in terms of production. A big aspect is animal welfare as well. What we can learn from this data to have and maintain a healthy herd. After milk recording, we meet with the feeding advisor and look at the parameters of the herd. And then we look deeper again at the individual animal in order to feed it accordingly, depending on the status of production and lactation. Besides taking milk samples for analysis, additional information on the cow is collected on the farms. For example, cell score, milk flow and milkability are evaluated. The number of stillbirth and difficult calvings, as well as culling reasons in the herd, is determined by milk recording and processed in appropriate breeding values. Since the 1960s, the data center VIT has been the central database and estimation authority for Holsteins and Red Holsteins in Germany, and for quite some time also for the countries Luxembourg and Austria. The VIT has developed the acknowledged calculation models for the German breeding value estimation of Holsteins. The internationally renowned staff of VIT continuously carries out research to improve those models. They cooperate with universities, agricultural practitioners and in international projects. All data collected on farms and data from herd genotyping are merged here. They are the basis for breeding value estimation, but also the basis for collateral analysis and research of new breeding values and new approaches in breeding value estimation. We at the VIT Breeding Value Processing Center evaluate the breeding values for dairy breeds three times a year. This is because of the big breeding value estimation based on all production. Moreover, we do this so that the new genomic breeding values can be published weekly, so 52 breeding value estimations per year. We do this independently of any commercial interests and were approved by the animal breeding law and state authorities which may be more important expertise-wise, we're ISO certified regarding breeding value estimation by VIT. And we're also ICAR approved regarding our breeding value estimation on an international basis. Currently the focus is on further development of the breeding value estimation, looking at new traits, dealing with conservation of resources and environmental relevance, specifically in dairy cows or heifers, the methane output. This is the current core area for us, further development and improvement of new traits by breeding. There are approximately 725 Kuhvision farms in Germany, Luxembourg and Austria that are actively part of the comprehensive data collection of health traits. All incidences of metabolic diseases, fertility diseases and every clinical mastitis are reported to VIT by the farmer and integrated into the breeding value estimation. Breeding values for mastitis resistance, fertility disorders and metabolic disorders resulting from that are a huge advantage for direct breeding towards healthier cows. Another aspect of recording health traits and having a reliable estimation of health breeding values is the understanding of hoof trimmers activity on the Kubizion farms. Every incidence of hoof diseases is reported to VIT directly by the hoof trimmer. As a result, there is not only a breeding value for hoof health, but also a direct breeding value, DD control, for resistance against the considerable hoof disease, Mortolaro. 
A healthy herd is important to us because only milk from healthy animals can be sold. Healthy animals mean less work. And we want to have a healthy, long-lasting herd in order to work economically on our farm. With the Mortellaro breeding value, we have a single breeding value on health, enabling us to get this disease under control. Then we just need to use this to improve animal health. We believe healthy feet and legs carry the milk. The cows have to walk to the parlor in our long barn twice a day. If they're to stand comfortably at the feed table and feed, this can only happen if their feet, legs and hooves are healthy. The phenotypical classification of conformation on the bull's daughters as well as their comparison animals is the basis for very good breeding value estimation. The classifiers in the German breeding organizations are well trained. They classify all 19 linear traits of the animals. The qualification process for the classifiers is organized and carried out nationally by the German Livestock Association, BRS. This provides uniform classification quality across all farms. The sheer amount of directly monitored primary data from milk recording, insemination, calving, classification, disease registration and hoof care makes it possible to reliably estimate breeding values for complexes with low heritability. An example for a complex with rather low heritability is mastitis resistance. These statistics serve as important and reliable benchmarkers for health monitoring, feeding and on-farm breeding and a part of the RZG that is easy to use. Yes, having many thousands of female animals genotyped as calves gives us a remarkable reference sample. It also enables us to do a practice-oriented validation for low heritable traits like mastitis. When these female animals become cows, we can see that there is a bisection between the very high and lowest 25% by the genomic breeding value for mastitis, a doubling of the mastitis rate respectively. So the lowest 25% only had mastitis with 7% in first lactation, while the very high 25% even had mastitis with 20% in first lactation. The breeding values, their practical application and national as well as international breeding are pursued and discussed intensively. This happens on the farms, in the breeding organizations, in task groups and national boards. Practice and science have established an intense exchange for decades in order to support German breeding value estimation in an innovative way. Adaptations of breeding values are well thought out in Germany. Thirteen years after the last RZG adaptation, lots of changes in dairy cattle breeding and progress of development of direct health breeding values, the RZG was adapted again in 2021, after lengthy considerations. Still focused on breeding a healthy, long-lasting and highly efficient cow, the weighting of milk production was reduced a little, and the RZ Health with its four complexes and the RZ Calf Health were integrated. This complies with the wishes of the breeders. They want health to be more of a focus. With the addition of the confirmation percentage in the breeding value RZG by the body breeding value, an adaptation succeeded that will meet the requirements for years to come. By using the bull mating program BAP, which directly communicates with the VIT database and Netrin Genome, the optimal mating partner can be identified for all animals due for insemination. The breeding advisor develops a farm individual breeding strategy in cooperation with the farmer here. For optimal breeding progress, BAP analyzes all information available and finds the best bull to compensate the individual weaknesses of each particular animal. All this functions in consideration of genetic defects and prevention of inbreeding. More and more farmers worldwide trust mating advice using BAP because of the convincing results. Already more than 3 million mating advices per year are processed with BAP nowadays. Together the German breeders and researchers ambitiously work on the successful breeding value estimation system in Germany. 
to help and further develop on an ongoing basis. More and more breeders from abroad have discovered and value the advantages and reliability of the German breeding value estimation system and therefore increasingly use German genetics. As a major exporter of cattle semen, GGI Spermex represents the quality of German breeding value estimation and the potential of 12 influential breeding organizations and AI studs from Germany on the global market. Located across the country, the farms of the GGI Spermex members show a huge spectrum of environmental factors and different management conditions. Optimal mating programs are developed for all of these conditions. Working closely with the VIT, scientific institutions and partners worldwide, GGI Spermex finds the appropriate answers to current challenges of breeding practice. And this for all management and climate conditions. Self-employed GGI Spermex partners in Europe and cooperation partners across the world document the trust GGI Spermex has worked hard to achieve over the years. More than 30 cattle breeds and all relevant dairy cattle breeds are available worldwide through GGI Spermex. GGI Spermex. Genetics. Made in Germany.